Hey peeps, it's your Uncle Mongrel here. I often wonder if people really understand what we go through to get fiber to people's houses and campsites and stuff. And this one here is a repair ticket I've got. It's a t over 2,000 foot aerial to buried drop to a private campsite on a beach on a lake. Tree fell down, took out one section. So, unfortunately, it broke it off at the P clamp right up at the pole, top of the pole. So, I've got to replace two sections, about 500 foot drop. I've already laid out. I'm just going to walk back through this thing so you guys can kind of see some of the stuff we deal with. Like, way down there is about two, three more pole sections to the road. And then I'm going this way. When we get to the uh, end of this little thing, I, oh, maybe along the way I'll tell you a little story. Back in uh, Waco, Texas, uh, 2006, hot July day, late in the afternoon, blisteringly hot, no breeze. We got a drop to install at a house, two poles back house connection it's the back side of a field trees are all ate up with vines I mean uh, poles are all ate up with vines and trees you got Garrett and Big Bear Andy come along and give me a hand I'm working the house Big Bear's got the sub pole Garrett's over at the main pole and it's definitely quiet not just perfectly still in the air hot summer day no birds chirping nothing it's too damn hot for anything we're just steadily working away here garrett chopping away at the tree limbs probably about a good 20 minutes of solid quiet out of nowhere garrett yells out from the top of the pole it reminds me of running cable back in the jungles of da nang in 1969 well that just about did it for all of us. Andy and I lost it. We laughed our ass off for another 20 minutes and finally got the freaking drop done. But little did I know, 12 years later, I'd be working in environments like this. And this is bad enough as is. I haven't deal with this. I'm gonna have to drag a ladder back here to all these poles and everything. But uh, imagine, Winter time up here. Additional two to four foot of snow. Ah, let me show you where this wonderful little trail comes out. And there's another lesson for you. Learn how to manage your finances and you too can have a private little family property campsite on a beach, on a beautiful lake, somewhere, with fiber optic data services feeding it Wi-Fi. So everybody can play in the sand and the water and still be on their phones and get their data connections. Yep. That's my day-to-day, -day, peeps. Love, peace, and chicken grease, y'all.